they're taking fundamental rights away that are basic human rights. I mean, the U.S. is going backwards in, like, overdrive when other countries are advancing in women's right to autonomy over their own bodies and their own decisions. I think sometimes it's important to engage in civil disobedience in order to uh, vindicate our fundamental rights. I mean, that's really been part of every movement for basic progress in our country. It's our country has never really made the big changes that expand rights based on some senators and representatives having a lovely conversation in the Capitol. It happens because of social movements. It happens because people march, people protest, people organize, people get arrested. So we're going to have women dying in this country because they can't access the health care that they're entitled to. EMTALA, which is the um, law that really says that no one should be turned away when they have an emergency, mm -hmm. um, that applies to many of these cases already, ectopic pregnancies um, and ones in which there are you know, serious abnormalities or where there is infection. I thought it was important for all of us as women and men in Congress to come out and show how serious we are about this. So a lot of people are being arrested here today who have never been arrested before, um, but we care that much about the lives of so many that are in trouble right now. Either they're, they're going to, there's going to be horrific incidents of loss of life, of women who are pregnant who desperately want to have those uh, children come to life and yet who will be um, who, who will be at risk this is just the first you're going to see this happening over and over again not just here but around the country um, we're serious and we're not going to go back. This is the greatest takeaway of rights for women in this country in our history.